Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to creativeitresources.com. I'm Jeff and this is tutorial number four. Moving or copying a WordPress site isn't overly difficult for a technical user. There's still a number of steps involved. And for the non-technical user, this could be a nightmare. I'm going to show you GoDaddy's Manage WordPress Site Migration Tool. A site migration tool is an excellent resource for moving your site to GoDaddy or making a copy of your site using a temporary domain name. A copy is especially useful if you want to explore different themes, plugins, or layouts without any risk of messing up your production site. The way it works is the site migration tool will log into your existing site, copy the files, copy the database, and give you a temporary domain name. The cool thing is this copy will be fully functional before making any changes to your production site. Combining the site migration tool with the business packages staging functionality and you have an easy, fast, and safe means for testing, updating, or changing your production site. Sounds like a lot, but it's actually pretty simple. Go to creativeitresources.com forward slash tutorial 004. There you can watch the video, access the tutorial notes, and also tons more information about the site migration tool. You can leave a comment there, let me know how I'm doing, or you can ask questions. I always appreciate the feedback. So hey, thanks a bunch for checking this out. I hope you find it helpful. As always, this is where I start my GoDaddy Tutorials, the My Account page. Let's go to our Manage WordPress hosting. On the right is my Starter Manage WordPress, and here on the left is where we begin a new installation or a site migration. First, I'm going to create a primary site, then migrate this site and move the domain name. Let's begin with the new installation, and now I'm going to click the Create a New WordPress Site. From here, I'll select citrdemo.com as my domain, enter a username, email, and password for the WordPress admin account. Click Next. We wait for the installation, and here the installation is complete. Since we have a pristine site, I've taken a moment and made it more practical by applying a basic theme, added a few necessary plugins, and made a few branding changes. And as you can see, we now have the site from the starter package and now our mock production site. At this point, our URL does not have the www as the domain prefix, and my personal preference is for the URL to be www.citrdemo.com. Let's go into the site settings. And under the Domain tab, next to our domain, click Actions and select Make www.citrdemo.com Primary. Let's go back and check out our site. And there we go. We have our production site with our correct URL. Now let's migrate our site and assume one of two scenarios. The first is... What if you want to move your site from outside your GoDaddy account? Or the second, you want to copy your site within your GoDaddy account. Remember, you can have up to five sites within the Business Manage WordPress. But before we begin, we need a few things in order to do the migration. First, we'll need the site URL, which for us is the www.citrdemo.com. Second, we'll need a WordPress site, admin username, and password. If you recall, I entered that a moment ago when I created the mock site. Technically, you want to make sure you select a user in your WordPress site that has the administrator role. And finally, we'll need the FTP URL, username, and password to have at least read access to the root of your WordPress files. I'll get my FTP information within the site settings, and under the FTP tab. Here we have hostname, SFTP username and password. To start a migration, let's go back to setup, then click migrate your existing WordPress site. All the information we collected a moment ago gets entered here. A site URL is www.citrdemo.com. Admin username is CITR admin. Enter in the admin password. The FTP host location is www.citrdemo.com. 
paste in the FTP username and FTP password, and then we'll click Finish. After a few moments, we get the Your Finish page. Back to our hosting page, we now have a new site with a temporary domain name. If we click Manage and go to our site dashboard, then under CITR Demo Site Name, click Visit Site. We now see an exact copy of our site under the temporary domain name, as you can see here in the address bar. Let's go back to our GoDaddy site management page and we'll change our new site to the domain name citrdemo.com. The first thing we have to do is release or transfer in our domain. By transfer in, I mean from another GoDaddy account or from another hosting provider. Since citrdemo.com is already within my account, all I need to do is remove it from its current site. This will make it available to associate with our newly copied site. Let's go into site settings for the www.citrdemo.com site. And under the domain tab, we make the temporary domain primary, which takes us back to the site management screen. Note our site now says change domain pending. I'll refresh the page by hitting F5 a couple times until the site shows up and running with no issues. It's important to know the site is still fully functional, except it no longer uses citrdemo.com. In fact, even before removing citrdemo.com, we could have brought the site up using its temporary domain name. We now need to go back to the main site and release citrdemo.com. Under the Domain tab, and next to the Domain, I'll click Remove citrdemo.com. This takes us back to the Site Management page. Now we need to associate citrdemo.com to our new migrated site. Let's go into Settings, and under the Domain tab, we'll add the domain citrdemo.com. Make sure we check the Make This the Primary Domain for your account before clicking Add. This will save us a step so we don't have to come back and set it as primary. As you can see, now it states Change Domain Pending. I'll hit a 5 a couple times to refresh the screen until our site states it's up and running with no issues. At this point, our URL does not have the www as the domain prefix, but whatever you choose, it needs to match what we had previously. I'll go back to the settings and under the domain tab, click actions. Next to our domain and select make www.citrdemo.com primary. Let's wait until it says our site is up and running with no issues. Then to verify all is good, I'll click manage and go to the WordPress dashboard. Immediately we can see the domain is www.citrdemo.com. If you are familiar with WordPress and you want to go to the general settings to change the URL, it's important to know under the manage WordPress, you have to make that change the way we just did it in GoDaddy. Otherwise, you'll get an error if you attempt to make the change here. If we click the link in the error message, it returns us to our site settings domain tab where you can then make that change. Under this scenario, I have two of my five websites used under the business package. For you, it might be one of your five. The point is I can migrate this site another three times using the temporary domain name if I choose to. The advantage is now I can create a sandbox from citrdemo.com. This is extremely beneficial if you want to play or experiment with your site and not affect what your users see and use. As you can see, the site migration tool is really easy, nice for a number of different reasons. Keep in mind you can access your site from all the different domains under the Settings Domain tab, including your temporary domain. The idea is to let WordPress manage all the links for your site assets, pages, and posts, so that way the URL matches the domain that you're using. You may ask yourself, why is this important? Well, what if you create a test site, and you want the URLs to point to the test site, and not to a production site? So thanks again for coming to check this out. I hope you found it useful. It means a lot to me that you guys are here. Go to creativeitresources.com forward slash tutorial 004. There you can access the tutorial notes, the links, the additional information, and comments. 
So you guys rock. Thanks again. I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you on the next tutorial where I talk about staging sites for the business manager WordPress.